Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use native Android and iOS dialogues in your Ionic Framework Apache Cordova application. Um, so if you've played around with Ionic Framework for a while, you're probably familiar with the Ionic pop-up. And although that looks really nice, it looks far from native. So by using the uh, Apache Cordova Dialogues plugin, which we're going to use in this tutorial, it's going to make use of native dialogues, not, uh, not any kind of HTML dialogues. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to start by creating a fresh Ionic Framework project. All right, let's go ahead and navigate into that new project. I created it on my desktop. And we're going to add the Android platform. Now, I am on a Mac, and I can add the iOS platform. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to stick strictly Android. But if you are using the Mac, you can go ahead and add the iOS platform, as this tutorial will work for iOS as well. So with the with the uh, Android platform added, let's go ahead and add the Apache Cordova Dialogs plugin. So this can be added by running the following. All right, as you can see, it installed it for Android. So. In the Dialogues plugin, there's actually a, a few different kind of dialogues that we can use. We can use the Alert dialog, Confirm, Prompt, and then we can also make the device beep. But for this particular tutorial, I'm only going to be discussing the Confirm dialog. And the Confirm dialog is a dialog that has multiple buttons on it. So that's how that's what makes it different different from the Alert dialog, which only has one button. This one, uh, or this one in particular, we're going to have three buttons. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up the project that we have just created on our desktop. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to open our JavaScript directory and then our app.js directory. So what I always like to do is I always like to give my Angular module a name because it makes it easier to work with. For this case, I'm going to call it example. I'm going to add a semicolon here. And I'm also going to create a new controller um, using example. All right. So for this controller, we're going to be using uh, scope. And that should be all of the di directives that we need. So in this controller, let's go ahead and create a, a new function. This function is going to be called confirm dialog and it's actually this is how we're going to this is how we're going to do it so we're going to give it um, a message we're going to say are you sure you want to do this we're going to give it a callback, which we're going to handle in a second. The callback takes in one uh, one parameter. It's the button index to tell us which button was pressed. Uh, we're going to worry about that in a moment. Uh, skipping ahead, we're going to give it a title. Um, confirm dialog. And our buttons will have the following names, or the following titles. I think that's how you spell neutral. I apologize on my poor spelling if, if that's the incorrect spelling. All right, just because I, I gave it a, a positive, neutral, and, and negative button doesn't mean that's that's what they mean. They, the text can be anything you want. Um, they don't they don't hold special properties based on the order or anything. But the order does matter. So with that with that done, let's go back into our callback. 
Uh, this is going to be determining which button was actually pressed. So let's go ahead and do the following. So it's going to start from, from 1. And we're going to say uh, console.log the decline button was pressed. And then if the other button was done, let's say console.log the is it, yeah, neutral button was pressed. And last is console.log except button was pressed. Let's fix that typo I made here. Alright, let's save that and go into your index.html file. We're going to make a UI to initialize this dialog. Let's go ahead and reference the controller. And let's go ahead and create a button. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to our terminal. We're going to build this project. I'm going to build it for Android. Again, you can use iOS if you want. I'm going to just stick strictly to Android. Almost done. All right, so it built for Android. Now we're going to install it. All right, here it is in our simulator. We're going to open it, and then let's hope. Hopefully, everything works when I click on Show Dialog, and it did. So it popped up. Let's go ahead and open up Logcat to see what our messages are. I'm going to click on decline and it said the decline button was pressed. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to say accept and it says the accept button was pressed and then last I'm going to say neutral and the neutral button was pressed. So just like that I showed you how to create a very um, native button in comparison to Ionic pop-up both look really good. It just is a matter of preference on how you want your app to look. Um, it, I, I personally prefer the Ionic pop-up, but yes, there are times where the native pop-up uh, looks better.